Hello chaps, Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. How are you guys doing today? I really hope you're doing well. He and Captain Kirk are doing just fantastic. In the last episode, we went ahead and wrapped up acquiring all of the bobbleheads in the Commonwealth that we have been uh, coveting for so, so long. So now that that is all done, and the Automatron DLC is all done, and before we finish up the vanilla game, it is time for us to jump into Far Harbor. Oh yeah. Far Harbor time, baby. Woo! Woohoo! I'm excited. I am excited. I've been wanting to do Far Harbor since it came out, and we are finally ready to jump into it and see what there is to do there. Now, we already, quite by accident, did the prerequisite quest to Far Harbor. We were, we came across a boathouse um, right around here, and uh, there is a missing girl named Kasumi. Still hoping for that date with her. And we met her parents, and uh, Kasumi actually ran away from home uh, up to Far Harbor because she, for some reason, seems to think that she is a synthetic life form. So she has gone to live with the uh, synth people up there. There's a, a refugee for synths up there. So that's what led us up there in the first place. But we, we immediately turned around, came back, and continued along our merry way. But it is time that we go find Kasumi. Here we are, chaps, in Far Harbor. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Oh. Um, so... We've seen this place before. And if I recall, we needed... We were told we're going to need a guide to go find her. And we're going to find that guide in the last plank, which seems to be the bar over there. But let's pull up our pit boy real quick and find that quest. So, walk in the park. Talk to Captain Defend the Hall. Call and welcome party. On the edge. Um, yeah, so I think walk in the park is what we're going to be completing today. So let's go into the last plank. Excuse me. God, take long enough to open the door, why don't you, you fuck? Do? Let me in! What do I need to know? A secret password or some shit? There we go. Alright. So this is the last plank. Nice place. Oh, calm Everyone. down. Everyone. We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths. Open your damned ears. So okay. the fogs are coming for us all. And I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house. Don't mind if I do. Time Don't mind if I do. Here's All right, buddy. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. You're not kidding. Three beer for ya. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Something stronger? You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! <laughs> I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. Oh. So, drink up. Hell yeah. Stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Here, here. Uh, let's see what he's got to sell. I'd like a drink. Music to the ears. Anything worth having? Shipment of glass. Shotgun shells. Uh, I don't need shotgun shells. Cancel. Okay, bye. All right, cool. That was nice of him. Free vodka. And this is going to be our guide, Old Longfellow. Ooh. Ooh, is that a max suit? Yes, it is. Um, Islander's Almanac. You've collected an issue of Islander's Almanac. You've unlocked POI map markers across the island. Great. I don't know what that means, but Captain it sounds Avery like a good said thing. You can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty. <laughs> Always. I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. In the last five minutes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm betting I can handle myself. I'm not some no-name mainlander. I'm tough enough for your little island. 
sling a bit of lead on the hull, and now you think you're ready to walk in the fog, do you? Things you'll see inland make that look like a Sunday stroll. I'm hoping you're right. I helped the harbor out. I figure all of you owe me something at least. If you're looking to square away some debt with the harbor, then you can get in line behind me. Listen, if you're dead set on this foolishness, get me a bottle of whiskey from the bartender, Mitch. Until then, we're done. Eh, fair enough. No hey, Mitch, I'm back. There's the door. Looking a mite too sober by my estimation. I can fix that. Oh, oh. music to my Let's ears, friend. On tap. Now that's what I like to hear. Ha! Uh, so we need whiskey. Twelve caps. What a bargain. What a bargain. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> Got your whiskey. Got my whiskey yet? Yes, indeed. I just told you that. Here you go. Ah. Uh. Now ah, you're talking. I can get you a Katie. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Cool. I got stuff. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Awesome. Excited. All right, Longfellow, lead the way. Mainland How much rad X do I actually long. have? Eight rad X, nine right away. That should be enough. Knock on wood. Old mountain trail. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the comic. Mainlanders think a dose of right away is all you need. <laughs> huh. You say so, buddy. See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. That's something in your brain. Trap. Found you! Here we go. Oh. Pap. You think I'm tough enough now, old man? Think I'm tough enough now? Well, hello. Great! Yeah, I just one shot a legendary long fellow. What you know? What you know? That's what I thought. What the fuck just hit me? What did he drop? Ghoul slayers, garbage. Don't care. Whoa! Who the fuck? Could you move? What the hell is your problem, buddy? What are you even shooting at me? Alright, we hit. Thank you. Thank you. I saw his eyeballs fly out of his head. It was good, man. Are you coward hiding? Letting me do all the work? Let's go. So this is Far Harbor. What's our map look like at this point? Ew. Ew. This is quite large. Definitely not as big as the Commonwealth. No complaints there. And, oh, Beaver Creek Lanes. We have a uh, quest to clear that place out for the Brotherhood. That's what originally ac accidentally led us here. I'm trying to do that. I really Someone like this atmosphere. You're dead. Got fools? Okay. Oh, come on. Thanks, buddy. Hold him still, please. Alright. Alright. Alright, enough of this shit. Time to bane him. Yeah, yeah. Get shot, bitch. Very hard difficulty, my ass. Ooh, can I drive this? <gasps> sea captain's hat. Nice. In case our first one gets blood on it. 
Let's go. Yeah, I was saying though, I really like this uh the atmosphere they've they've set up for us here. This is cool. The fog and everything. So. <gasps> oh, I don't want to hurt the wolf. Oh. Alright. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Could you target the legendary, please? Thank you. Chop. Chop. Grit. Finish him off. Chop. There were wolves. It's so much cooler than feral dogs. Hang on, buddy. I need my legendary. What do we got? Uh, reflects 10% of melee damage back. Blah, 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 blah. Fine. That's fine. Let's go, buddy. Oh, crawler. Yeah. Stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear. Okay. You never know. You go first. Let me turn my light off. That was a very large sounding beast. When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee. The whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Interesting. The wisdom of the elderly. Oh. Blight. What's blight for? I'll take some of that blight. Enjoying this so much. Oh. oh, fog. Foggy days make me what happy. I don't know. What was it? I got fucking. I'm the leader here. Oh, we got some gulpers. Hey, guys. Why don't we kill that? Sure that does. Back. Dead. 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 Easy. Oh, so the Meyer Lurks and the Gulpers are buttons, okay? Makes no difference to me. They all fall before Bane. Buddy. Oh, Captain Kirk. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Okay. And ooh, does 50% more damage against Myrlurks and bugs. Neat, but I'm fine. And we're just cutting through this place. Kind of expecting a little bit more of a challenge. Fresh water. Small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing we don't see too many of them around. Oh my. Oh my. We ain't alone now. <laughs> Oh, hey! Fuck away from the dog, you cunt. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hmm. Are we there yet? Great. I think I've got enough blight to 
figure out what it does. Oh my. You're not Who's looking too hot. More soul to the damnation, old man? Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How mm -hmm. about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Go ahead and shoot her then. She mm -hmm. ain't worth wasting ammo on. Too bad I left my hunting knife at home. <laughs> Do not sell I didn't. with your business, <laughs> old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. You... Do know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move. On. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> stab! 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 Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. Your brothers and sisters have tried to kill me before, and I don't appreciate it. Clean. No fog. Gady is not too far now. As long as the children of Adam were peaceful, I was chill. But they they threw the first stone, and now I'm throwing it back. Awesome. And so this is Arcadia. Right. Arcadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want, mm -hmm. they'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Okay. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> You're my kind of man, Longfellow. Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Hey, fair enough. Um, maybe later, Longfellow. All right, but I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Nice. Oh, oh, we got an idiot's front trunk. Chilling my bones, Rock. it won't come out. Too many nights out sleeping in the fog. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 yeah! 2100 experience, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, and Longfellow seemed awesome. Absolutely awesome. Definitely, you know, if we weren't playing a, uh, a Captain Kirk exclusive build, he'd, uh, he'd be somebody I'd consider for a companion. Is this gonna be Steely? No. No, it is not. Here you Alright, so let's pop inside and see what there is to see around here. And here we are. Hello. You know, when I first climbed this Whoa. mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Whoa. Dude, you're trippy looking. Um, yeah, dude. No, I'm totally chill with sense. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed. And you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a synth? No, I don't think so. She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. 
She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Yeah, Tell I want me, that date. Are you a synth? Uh, nah, I'm human. I'm Sorry, a human bro. Being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? Um, I guess the day the bombs I fell. I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Whoa. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Um... Oh, man. Oh, man. Um... Um, uh-oh. I didn't know I was gonna have to tell him. Uh, I'm in the railroad. I'm part of a group that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost, I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture, but sacrificing what you are Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? I did not know there was a memory wipe. Huh. Huh. I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place. And it's unfair of me to judge, while I enjoy relative safety from so far away. Was there anything else I can do for you? Um... So, everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps it's Very oh, interesting. Time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Whoa. Well, this is not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but this was not it. Can't pick this. Huh. Locked door. Suspicious. So how do I get to Kasumi? Not up here. Hello. Excuse me. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. You're pretty. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible, but thankfully she was never in any real danger. I had an I'm old man your journey me. was unnecessary. Kind of got in my way. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. 
Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? Yeah, I feel you. How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? That's not a subject we need to discuss. I manage. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive. And he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him. And I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. I'll find out what I can. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, Kasumi. Kasumi. Ooh. What is this? Is this a shop? I assume you're not planning on staying long. Um. I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. That's a little rude, don't you think? <laughs> Treat all your guests like this? No. We don't have... guests. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I do see your point, but I'm chill. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. I will try not to. Damn, I thought you were going to sell me stuff. You Stand behind the something. counter like that, you freaking... You freaking faker. Trying to look like a vendor. Okay. New guy, right? Okay. <gasps> Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi. Kasumi. It's Bay. Maybe if I read out the finally get to know what she looks like. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I I'm right in the middle of something. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? Yes, she's hot! You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Um... The truth? What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Um. Um. Do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. Hmm, not quite proof, but whatever makes you happy. I mean, your parents seem a little controlling, and everybody deserves to find their own way, so I'm just going to let you do you, boo. I know it must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you're here for the right reasons. Yeah, so I am. I mean, yes, I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here with... Acadia, there's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done enough running. Oh. 
If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? Yeah. That's why you came after me. Yeah. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Yeah, our date, baby. Ever heard of the Starlet Drive in movie theater? Yeah, I basically own it. We can go watch a movie together. I know. I know, I know. Try to keep your excitement contained. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. Mm. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. What? You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Weird. Yeah, of course I'll, I'll help, help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I'm a I've master also tried lock breaking break, baby. into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Um... I'll figure this out. Just stay here. Okay. Good luck, and come back as soon as you've found anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's fine as hell, chaps. Oh, I'm happy. I mean, if we were gonna pursue somebody, I think we chose wisely and blindly. But hey, nothing wrong with that, right? All right, so uh, oh shit, we got we got quest markers going on all over the place. Let's let's head over to our data and see what the sitch is. Um, am I tracking anything under miscellaneous? No, this is all the same quest. Okay, so. We can hack Faraday's terminal. Uh, we can gain access to the storage room. Sounds like lock picking. Or we can talk to Dima. I'm gonna, I'm gonna utilize our lock picking because that's that's just kind of our thing. Sounds like my kind of plan. So first things first, we need to find where we need to be. It looks like all arrows are pointing up. Whoa, I just confused the shit out of myself. Where do I go? This way? Can I take this? Yeah. Hey, thanks. The G, thanks. And. Okay, so that's where we would go to talk to him. Where do we go? So that would be hacking right there. So then it's this quest marker over here. Interesting. So we must have to go back down again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Good, good, good. Let's just pick this real quick. Yeah, baby. Let me inside of you. Yeah! <laughs> Got it! Got it. We need 
need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island, the same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Okay. Okay. So we got more options. Let's pull up our quest log and see what we've got. So we can go talk to Dima about stuff, or we can obtain Faraday's program. Now, it seems like Dima is a good, wise leader. So I really don't want to. Ooh, stuff. I really don't want to circumvent his will in this. Because it, it, it really seems like he's got his head in the right place. So I think we're just going to go talk to him about it. And see what that yields. More resources everywhere. Awesome. So let's go talk to Dima. Hey, Dima. Dima. What can I do for you? Um... I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you, you're new to the island. Yes, I am. All right, I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? 
about Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? Yeah. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. Mm. The Children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures You'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Alright, sounds good to me. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Atom directly. Aww. Their ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Alright, let's go talk to Kasumi, let her know what we've learned. Hey, Bay! You still in the basement? Hey, what's up, gorgeous? Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Yep. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. Um, yeah. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? Hell yeah. You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. 
Great. So, say I get the memories. What then? Can if I take you out? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the Children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. All right. All right. So, we came to Far Harbor. We met our bay, Kasumi. Couldn't be happier about that. Uh, we also met Dima. And now it sounds like we're going to be infiltrating the Children of Adam, which sounds like a good time to me because fuck those guys. Not only are they crazy, but they've killed me a couple times. They're dicks. And I just kind of want to go in there and slaughter them all. But, you know, I'll respect Dima because he seems like a good leader for the time being. But that's where we're going to call this one for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button for me. You can leave a comment. It really does help the channel grow. Or you can subscribe for more of my content. But either way, I will see you chaps here next time with more Fallout 4.